hello guys welcome to yj digital world on today's video i'll be teaching you how to create simple food flyer design using photoshop 2020 i remain your host Abu Joseph. in doing this i have to create a new document that is a new working interface so all i have to do here is to click on file on my menu here and click on create new document and this new document panel, I'll click on print, select my paper size. I'm using the A4 paper size. Pixels to be my units for measurement. My resolution in 300 resolution. Color mode RGB. And I click on create. After doing this, the next thing I'll be doing here is to create my background. In order for me to do this, I'll be creating a fill for this design. For me to do this, I have to come to my adjustment panel here. Click on solid colors. And this is the color code I'll be using for my solid color. So I'll click on OK. So after creating my solid fill, next I'll be bringing in my shape. Right click here, select the Eclipse tool. If click and drag, holding shift. Okay, after doing that, come here. I have the color code I'll be using for my circle here. Copy it. Start copying it. Double click here. I'll paste the color here. After doing that, pick my move tool. Position this towards the center of my project next i'll come to filter here blur gaussian blur convert to smart object start converting to smart object i'll increase the size to about 240 of blurness i'll click on ok start doing that i'll come here change my blending mode to high hard light Reduce my opacity to about so about 60 here yeah, or 59. I'll transform. Sorry, I'll transform the uh, the shape and scale it up a little bit. After that, click on the tick icon. So the next thing I'll be doing here is to bring in my image I'll be using for this project. Come to here, here I have the image, I'll drag in the food into my design and I'll scale it up a little bit. I'll click on the check button here. So to zoom in, control plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Now what I want to do here is to add a little bit of depth to this design and to make this image pop. Up a little bit so what I'll be doing is to add a little bit of of a curve to this so I'll come to my adjustment panel here click on curves I'll increase I'll reduce my shadows first of all I, I forgot to clip max I need the effect to be on the plate of food here okay so I will reduce my shadows I will increase my highlights on my project so that's for this so I'll come over here as well with my selective colors select my selective colors now my selective colors are made up of various colors if you notice different colors here but if you notice on this all this set of colors stand for the CYMK color format which which you have on this side on the left hand side of my screen while on the right hand side of my screen you have the red the green and the blue which stand for the rgbs so on when i select my green i want to add a little tone of green to this now the opposite of cyan here is uh, of cyan here is red the opposite of magenta is green the opposite of yellow is blue so if i need to add green to this i'll come over here i have my Magenta, I slide it over this way. You can see, but if I slide it this way, the green reduces. Sorry, guys, I forgot to clip max once again. So I have to clip max. I need the effect to be only on the plate of food. So 
I go this way, I'm adding more of magenta. So I just need more of my green on this project. So I'll come over here, select my yellows, come to yellow, add yellow. You can see if I need to add more of red, I can come to red there and slide it up this way. But I don't need it to be strong, so I reduce it. Okay, that's for this. So I'll minimize this. Click on my first layer here, hold shift, click on this other layer here, Ctrl G, or you click on your group icon here, you group this set of images, this set of layers, I'll call this food. After doing that, the next thing I'll be doing is to bring in my burger image. Here's the burger, I'll drag it into my Photoshop to so somewhere here. Let me zoom out, Ctrl minus alt and scale out okay scale out a little bit position it around there I'll check control zero to fit to screen control plus to zoom in properly into your project so now I need to add a little bit of depth on this I'll click on on my adjustment panel here come over here where I have my my heels I'll click on my hues. I'll select my clip marks. I need effects to be on on the burger. So I'll just left click and drag. You notice the tones of my colors are coming up a little bit up this way. So I can come over here and add a little bit of curves to this project. And clip marks once again. Clip marks. And add more of highlight I uh, can choose to reduce the, the shadows so I'm coming as well select my co selective colors if I need to add more of red I can do that if I need to add more of green so I'll come here slide over this way I'm adding more of my green to this but I have to clip mask this layer once more again to make sure the effect is only on my burger is okay this way it's okay this way so I can come here if I need to add yellow click on my yellow here I can add a little bit of yellow to this project so after doing that click on this I come to my curve here make a little adjustment to this and add more of dark tones to this okay after doing this i'll zoom out I'll select this first layer here select the last layer where i have my burger i'll group it i'll call this burger so after doing that all i have to do is to right click and convert this to a smart object okay after converting to smart object i make a duplicate ctrl j to duplicate the layer so i'll come here I drag out this layer to somewhere around here. I'll click on this layer, Ctrl G, and position it somewhere around here as well. Somewhere around here. So after doing this, I come here, select the first layer, hold shift, select the last layer of my burger, and group it as well. So I'll call here burger. Okay, Ctrl minus to zoom out a little. So after doing that, I'll come here to add another set of layer but this layer i'll drag it beneath the, the group layer of my of my burger come here pick my lasso tool here make a drawing of this nature draw something of this size here i'm trying to give this image a, a shadow look so in order for me to do this i'll come here Change my fill to black. Okay, it's already set on black. I'll hit Alt Backspace on my keyboard. I filled so Ctrl D to deselect. Come to my filter. I'll come to my filter here. Slide over to blur, Gaussian blur. You reduce the strength of my blur. So I'll click on OK after doing that. Okay, come to my opacity here and turn down my opacity a little bit 
okay turn it down a little bit to give it that shadow effect making it look as if it's sitting on a, a on a surface so after doing that pick my move to come over here click on this group layer and then drag control t okay now you can see the 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 shadow beneath this i'll increase the size a little okay that's good for that so the next thing here i'll come back to we have this layer here this is my eclipse tool i'll create a custom new layer customize new layer hold alt click on this icon here this panel comes up i'll call this noise i'll change this to hard light sorry to soft light neutral color 50 percent gray selected okay okay after doing that come here convert this to a smart object move over to filter here select noise add noise okay i think this noise strength is okay for me on this project so after doing this i'll close this i'll select this set of layers and i'll group them and call this my background stand for background bg stand for background so after doing this i can come here select this burger layer and select my food layer together all these layers together and then group them together and call this food pack food pack so after doing that the next thing i'll be doing is to bring in some other images i'll be using so i'll come here and drag in my pepper So after dragging in the paper, I'll check, come here right click to convert to smart object, control T, transform. Then I can choose to flip and uh, rotate horizontally. Okay. Can scale up a little. Just to position it to somewhere around here my system is lagging a little bit so i'll click on this okay come over here where i have my food ctrl t increase the size scale up a little bit okay Okay, on this paper layer here, I want to add a little bit of depth. So I'll come here, click on curves, and make sure I'll clip max this on this. Add more of, of dark tones. I can add a little bit of highlights to make the paper pop a little bit. That's for this. Okay, that is select the two layer and group this. Okay, control G to group. So I can call this pepper. Okay, after doing that, you can choose to, to make a duplicate of this. Well, let me convert this to a smart object first. After converting and make a duplicate, control G to make a duplicate. Drag it over here. And, okay. So guys, I will, in this part of this tutorial now, I'll explain to you how to change the co uh, colors of objects using Photoshop. So, for me to change the color of this paper, come to my hues and saturation here, on my adjustment panel. So, pick, click on this icon here, 
I'll use it to sample the color of my paper. After sampling the color of my paper, now on my hue, saturation, and highlight wave, I have to tweak the colors. Okay, so I will have to add more of the saturation. But I let me click max this. I don't need it to be on the whole project. So I'll click max this and adjust the strength to about 103. I'll also reduce my saturation to about, uh, let me see. I think this is okay. Likewise, I'll reduce my highlight, my lightness to about, uh, let me see. I think this is okay for this. That's for that. So all I have to do is also select them, right click and convert it to smart object as well. Control T, transform. So all I have to be doing from here now is to be positioning them. Okay, I will now be positioning them. I will also make a duplicate. So if you notice, I will be fast forwarding this part. Is to bring in this leaf image here, drag it in, come over here, pick my tool here, I'll select this leaf using my lasso tool, then select max. Okay, I don't need the other set of leaves, so I'll come here, right click, convert this to smart objects, transform this as well. So I'll be doing the same which I did for others. Other uh, paper icon, I'll come here, add curve, click marks, add a little bit of this, a little bit of this, come here as well, add a little bit of green to this. Okay. So the next thing we'll be doing in this project is to so guys the next thing we'll be doing in this project is to add a little bit of a blur to these images. So I'll select this layer here, put it here, select Gaussian blur, reduce the strength, click OK, select this other paper icon. Come over here, select Gaussian Blur, and choose to reduce the strength as well. Okay, that's for that. Reduce the strength of the Blur. Okay. So, same I'll be doing for the other set of images. So, I'll be skipping this part. I'll be fast forwarding a little bit so first of all let me show you what i'll be doing to the other set of images i'll be adding blur but this time around i'll be making use of motion blur okay click on this other image as well come to filter motion blur as well come here increase the strength of the blur click on ok so i'll be fast forwarding from here so after adding all the blur effect on all the set of layers all i have to do is to select them and group them together as one set of group so for me to do this, all I have to do is to click on my first layer where I have the paper here and come over here where I have this other one, holding shift, click on this, onto G to group or click this group icon here. 
I then call this pepper. Okay, after doing that, the next I'll be bringing in my text on my screen. If you notice, I have random set of text, so now I'll be working on them. So, first of all, I have to set in my guide so that my project can be well structured. Okay, my guide was already set. Okay, so the next thing I'll be doing here is to increase the size of my text. Okay. Okay. I'll come here, control A to select all, align horizontally, deselect, come here, select this layer and move this set of text to somewhere around here. Okay, also increase the size of this Sami text. Okay, after doing that, now I want to add a little bit of shadow effect on this text. I'll double click on my Sami text layer. Come my layer, uh, my layer style comes up. I'll click on shadows. My shadows here. I'll start tweaking. Sorry. I'll make sure the Sami layer is above my burger layer so i make sure this burger text is beneath the sami so all i have to do is double click on the sami layer here layer styles comes up slide over to to drop shad drop shadow then i add a little bit of shadows to this Okay, I think it's okay this way. I can increase the darkness, I can also reduce it the opacity. So I'll click on OK. Okay, after doing this, the next I'll be positioning this as well. Control A, align horizontally, deselect, transform, control T, and then scale out a little bit. Okay. After doing that, come here. I will change this to arrows. The font I'll be using here is called the arrows font. So I'll come here, increase my tracking a little bit. Okay, change my color to white. Okay, come here as well. After doing that, I'll come over here, select my food pack layer, and try to reposition this food a little bit. Okay, after doing that, next on this project. I will be trying to arrange this set of text here. I'll be using the Montserrat font style. I'll change this to Montserrat. Okay. I'll change the fill color to the color of this text to white. Okay. Here, I have to click on this layer. We have my uh, and pastries. Come to my shape panel here. Right click. And select the rectangle too. So I have to make a rectangle of about this size. Start doing that. I'll double click. Select this red color over here. Click on OK. If you notice my property panel is active here. So I can tweak the edges of this shape a little bit. For so in case you don't have your property panel, we have mine here. I can come over here on my windows select activate the property panel on on the on on your on your windows likewise your character panel if you need your character panel you have it here you turn it on so that you can be able to work on your text properly so that's for this so i'll hold control if 
you notice if i hold control my mouse pointer changes to this so i'll just click on this to make the selection of the rectangle to a marquee select the move to align horizontally and vertically to the center of the select after doing that i'll come over here select the two layers i'll group them and call them services okay so after changing the name to service i right click and convert it to a smart object so smart object would out scale down a little bit or check okay after that control a align horizontally to the middle that's for this so the next thing i'll be doing here is to also make adjustments to this text as well control a and position it to the center control d to the select so come here and change this to Montserrat is the font I'll be using. And come here, change the Montserrat type to about bold, change the color to white. Okay, so I notice I misspelled this, so make correction to this. So Hold out, scale down a little bit. I'll check. Start checking. In. I'll reposition this to somewhere around here. So next, I'll, let me zoom in. I'll be positioning my location here. My location, I uh, text here. Come here. Sorry. Control, control T to to transform. But first of all, let me change this to Montserrat. That's the font I'll be using for this project. Come here, change this to sorry Montserrat, please. Okay, I'll change this to bold. Change this to bold. Click on OK increase the the leading okay i'm increasing my leading here so after doing that i can choose to position it a little bit to the top come to my resource here i want to drag in my location icon i will bring in the location icon I'll convert it to a smart object double tap here i double click on the layer here the layer style comes up. Click on this. Okay. This is the color I'm using for this project. So just click on OK. Come over here. Control T. To scale down a little. And click on the check icon. Come here. Position this. Okay. Think this is okay. The next, next, I'll bring in my WhatsApp text here. Align it to the middle, the select, change, change the font to Montserrat as well. Okay, change the type to extra bold, change the color to white, change the color to white. Click on OK. Likewise, this set of text align Ctrl A to highlight everything. Align horizontally to the center. The select also change the color to white as well. Montserrat, please. Okay, Ctrl H to hide my guides, Ctrl 0 to zoom out. Here I have my rectangle, all I have to do is to hit Ctrl J to duplicate the rectangle. Then use my mouse to reposition it here. So, 
I can also hit Ctrl J again to make another duplicate and position it somewhere here as well. That's for this, this as well. You can adjust the position for this as well. So after doing this, and come to where I have this layer as well for this text. Pick my text to click on this. Click on the text, start clicking on the text, it's your backspace. Start hitting the backspace, come to where I have area 8, so just click here and check. So, Ctrl 0 to zoom out. Okay. So guys, we, are, we have come to the end of today's video. If you enjoy this video, do well to give this video a like and if you're new on my channel do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content and if you have any comments you can leave a comment in the comment section thank you guys for watching